Namaste to all, and it is our pleasure to welcome you at our virtual campus. As you know that uh, we are going through a very tough time, and we know that uh, the future is also going to be tougher for us. To tackle all these things and the challenges, we need very innovative minds. So today, we have arranged a five days faculty development program, which will be talking about and having the discussion on innovation management. So these, this five days FDP is going to be very helpful for all of us to understand our role, our responsibilities, and our challenges in taking the innovation management in the curriculum, in the action, and to train our new generation of the youth to handle the same kind of challenges with the innovative mind. Hey, good morning to all of you. Uh, ILM University is located in the corporate hub of Gurugram and is part of ILM which is a premier educational institution for the last 27 years. ILM University offers innovative and flexible programs in management, law, design, fashion, humanities, social sciences, entrepreneurship, computer science and technology. There is a strong focus on liberal arts education. And we at ILM strongly believe that the future of education is in liberal arts as it helps students to not only become innovative and creative, but it also helps them to adapt to the dynamic business environment, as well as respond effectively to the changes that are happening around us. We believe that liberal arts education helps students to develop a sense of social responsibility, as well as develop strong and transferable intellectual, as well as practical skills like communication, problem solving, critical thinking, and a demonstrated ability to apply knowledge and skills in real world settings. So now I would like to welcome our uh, Vice Chancellor, Professor Sujata Sahi, Madam. Good morning, everyone. Our Igbar Aap Sabi Ka Firse Abhinandan, IILM University. And I hope you all are safe with your family members. First of all, today I take the opportunity to welcome our chief guest, Professor Sushma Ji, Chairman, NAC Appeal Committee and Vice Chancellor, who has taken out time from her busy schedule to guide us on innovation management and its relevance to our nation. Also, I welcome my colleagues, all participants and scholars across different parts of the country. The innovation ecosystem developed by some developing Asian countries is a real example in front of us to showcase the role of innovation in developing their economy. In a recent McKinsey report, after survey, they released the report, 90% of the executives believe that the COVID-19 crisis with fundamentally, will fundamentally change the way they do business in the next five years. Why innovation has been missing in India? Because we have been coping in the world who was telling us, you really don't know. You remain a white man's burden. And therefore, it's difficult for you, you know, to think beyond. And then this uh, English or a foreign language in which you have to learn from the beginning becomes an added burden. So I would say, dear friends, whatever is your language, master it. And think in that. I wish I can speak all the Indian languages, but whatever I can speak, you know, the idea that comes into that, it never comes in English. You know, usually we say we weep in our mother tongue. We, you know, get angry in our mother tongue. So mother tongue remains important. And thankfully, the new education policy or the national education policy 2020 talks about it. Are you ready to break the wall of challenges? Because we all have a lot of comfort that we get a business idea, we get a business plan, um, you know, we can find out good um, money in that, good profit in that, and start working, uh, working with that. So generally, you will see that when you will go into the real world of entrepreneurship, whatever you have prepared, whatever you have done the research through Google, through various forms, through your, you know, the primary, secondary, tertiary research, 
and then you go in the market and you present it to, to the customer 90% chances that the customer is not uh, accepting accept going to accept that as is so you will have to be really ready to look at how the business is done currently and how you can do it very very uh, differently i think uh, some of the important points were made by uh, professor punia and i will uh, elaborate upon them uh, as all of you know that uh, engineering education is concerned with uh, imparting knowledge in engineering and uh, technology practices and engineering innovations actually form very key elements for the sustainable growth of any country uh, in fact uh, after the covid-19 pandemic uh, this has been actually uh, amply demonstrated uh, in the recent economic uh, disruptions uh, that were brought about after covid-19 have really reemphasized the role of uh, engineering innovations we got to make sure that there is no better time we cannot wait for things to change as teachers as facilitators trainers excellencies it's the responsibility that is at the primal level for you know the entire fraternity to not wait and it is it is commendable the way entire nation has adapted to uh you know the digital transformation that that time or or covid has pushed everyone through today's agenda is uh, innovation just the basics and diffusion curve that's what we are here for today channels of innovation diffusion how people uh, adopt the innovation research behind innovation diffusion yeah uh, and uh, failures challenges in diffusion so that's the basic agenda the learning here is that whenever we talk to students and you can tell that uh, first of all we need to change the mindset that innovation can be anything small things are also innovation yeah so that is the mindset they need to change whenever they see things around they need to think from a different perspective innovation i'll else like we teach anything and everything they will ask about the marks marks kaise aate hain and that i hate that question marks kaise aate hain marks lana bhi nahi hai it's about mindset and implementing uh, the mindset what you have so when we talk about innovation the top names that come to our mind are apple google netflix uh but there are other companies also who are doing innovations and in fact uh, yes facebook and in fact uh, they are following a proper process including these on uh, on continuously coming up with innovations so many of us uh, used to inno uh, used to uh, associate innovation with an invention that a product comes and that is an innovation it's actually the entire process that process has been designed that process has been designed to make this experience of getting a coffee at starbucks more memorable and easier for you more convenient for the customer otherwise what would happen we would go to the counter let's say i would go to the counter book my cup of coffee dr bindu would be standing behind me and waiting for me to make the payment and for the coffee to get ready you're spending a lot of time in the same line whereas this way one after another customers can come order their coffee and wait in a separate line it's a lot more convenient and it's time you know it's it's time it's effective in terms of you know saving time that's where things processes like design thinking come into place where organizations irrespective of whether it's the government it's an educational it's a coffee shop it's a retail store that's where design thinking comes into place where you are thinking about the customer and understanding what is the best way to solve this problem the agenda for today is the problem identification and it is the seventh session right so i would just like to ask all of you that how big do you think you know when we talk about an problem identification as a component of an entrepreneurial journey so we are looking it from the perspective of a startup and by god's grace this is an area which is of my passion my research is are in the domain of startups and how how technology interfaces so how the emerging technologies have influenced the in, the budding startups and things like that is innovation synthesis so it has two words into it 
The first is innovation and the second is synthesis. Let us understand both the words. What do you mean by innovation? And then what are we going to synthesize? Synthesize is a development of something which we do. Especially I'm a PhD in chemistry and uh, synthesis was for me uh, all across my educational level was something being manufactured. What is cooking up? So, you know, we synthesize things. So when you have to develop a plant inside the lab, what you do conventionally, what the scientists are doing is they bring the plant inside, you get everything except the light. So what you do is they used to place a, you know, tube lights onto the top and you grow into that. But the plant never use light throughout a day. It has a sleep cycle, you know, in afternoon, it has you know, day, then in the night, there's no light. So what they do is in daytime, they used to switch on this uh, tube light in the night, they switch off this tube light. You know, that's how they will doing the experiment. Uh, several years ago, I started teaching a class in innovation and creativity. Um, and, uh, and that's the, the title of it. It's actually on the books in our catalog as innovation and creativity. Um, and the, uh, the objective is really to give the students hands-on experience in creating uh, new products to go all the way from idea, uh, well, actually even before idea, from research to idea to figuring out how to actually do it and then to make things. The things we need to know before we do them, we learn by doing them. And uh, that is so true. You know, we try to prepare our students for, um, you know, uh, a career. And uh, it might be that you're in marketing or entrepreneurship or um, engineering. I, I don't really know all the, the backgrounds of everybody who's here. Um, and we, we, we try to give them the best preparation that we can, but we all know that once they walk out the door, um, whatever job they take, they're going to be doing things that you or I never told them about or gave them any kind of insight. And they're going to have to learn on the job, uh, and, uh, and they'll do it. Uh, it'll be a little bit difficult, but they, they manage. And I think the same idea can apply in the classroom. How I would I have distributed this session is that we will along the way, as we go along, I will first talk a little about how organizations innovate. What are the kind of organizations that are innovating? Which are the top innovating companies and which are the companies which did not live up to their expectations and et cetera. And uh, you know, what are the main drivers of innovation? And then I would like you to think about what is the kind of innovation that you would do in your context? You know, it's it's um, you know a lot of there's a lot of talk that happens that technology is you know you need technology and all innovations are around technology or use technology in a big way. So technology is a tool. We can definitely use it and we can use to make ourselves more effective in whatever we are doing. So the context would be that it is not only to know, which generally we work for when we are in the teaching learning process that in the knowledge domain something goes into and you are fine with that so learning to know is the one of the dimensions that we need to or one of the four pillars that needs to be considered learning to do is about the application part of it are you able to do work what you have learned as skills or knowledge can you apply that in real life or not can you live with people live learning to live together understand others respect for human dignity and diversity learning for responsible and active citizenship can you do that or not otherwise the purpose of education is lost first of all uh, it's a very generic statement which we patent attorneys get to hear that any idea is patentable so um, as an attorney, I do not agree with the same because any idea cannot be patentable. For an idea to be patentable, it has to undergo various parameters, various checks. Uh, we will discuss that. So an idea, the first question is, is an idea patentable? Any damn idea? No, it is not patentable. But is idea important? 
yes it is very important because ideas only lead to innovations which can be protected under uh various uh provisions of the law 